Y'all have some explaining to do. Y'all didn't like the food? Or y'all ate too fast? Yeah, you. It's probably you. Or you. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kamisha. I live part-time in my tiny home on wheels, but this channel is more than about where I live. I have things to do, places to go, food to eat, stuff to learn, and things to create. So join me as I take small petite steps at living my best life. Boss ass bitch. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kamisha, and in today's video, I'm gonna do a thorough cleaning of my tiny home and just walk through like the process that I take and you know, making sure that my tiny home is clean. So if you notice, um, within that drawer, under the sink right there, that's like the only trash can that I have in the tiny home. Um, since I have such a small space, I don't want like a huge trash can like inside the home. So that little one, that the one that I'm cleaning out right now is actually the only trash can that I have. And it's been working out fine. Um, I don't collect a lot of trash because of that, you know? Like, I, I know, like, this is the only trash can that I have. So, you know, I'm more likely to be cautious of the trash that I collect. Or, you know, if it's, like, a big box that I have to take out, I just take it into the dumpster. And I don't know about others, but every time I clean, I have to play music, so I end up dancing. So I took a quick dance break. <laughs> don't mind me. Loving your vibe, girl. That energy got me going. baby. That thing so vibrant. Keys to your heart, baby girl. So now I'm just cleaning out the fridge. I keep like basic condiments in the fridge just in case I come back and I wanna make a quick meal. So like butter, ketchup, soy sauce, I just keep handy. But anything that like spoils like within like a week time, you know, I usually just throw those out. So I don't have an actual mop in my tiny home. I just have this Swiffer and it meets all my needs. It's compact and convenient, which is perfect for a tiny home. So <laughs> right now I'm just mopping the floor, trying to mop up some of that throw up <laughs> that they, you know, the cats did.
it's time for another dance break. I don't know what I was dancing to. I think it was like, um, you know, the lean with it, rock with it. <laughs> I was trying to see if I still had it, but yeah. <laughs> So since I have cats that live in the tiny home still, I collect a lot of cat hair on the beds. So I bought this new sheet set and I'm just about to replace it. You guys will see the white comforter under the sheet set. Um, I don't, <laughs> that wasn't my doing. I think it was a property owner when he made the bed one time, but I just kept with it and I kept it underneath the sheet set. It kind of like makes it look a little more plush and it adds like more support so i just kept it that way but the guests you know they have the option of pulling it out even if you're asking even even if you're asking because i do what i do and it's time for something new So to make the bed on this loft is pretty easy, but the other one, it's so compact and cramped, it's hard. It's, it's an actual workout to make that other bed. I won't be making the bed on the other loft in this video, but I'll probably do it in another video just to show you guys how strenuous it is. It's like a complete workout for sure. Since you have to climb into this loft, this ledge right here that I'm cleaning, it collects so much dirt and dust. So that's why I'm cleaning it off. And now your favorite part, <laughs> um, cleaning out the toilet. Um, I'm just taking the bag from the bucket from my compost toilet and the liquid waste. And I won't show you guys that. <laughs> So I keep a spare urine container, which you guys just saw me place within the compost toilet. And so after I'm done cleaning everything down, I'm going to refill the peat moss and then empty out the previous urine container as well as the, <laughs> the solid waste. So here I'm just emptying out my peat moss and then I'm going to empty out my liquid waste in a local porta potty. And now I'm going to empty out my gray water system, my well, my gray water tank. And all the water that I use from the tiny home, it goes directly into the earth. So I'm very mindful of the products that I use. Don't you look at me like that when you break my heart like that. Just emptying out the trash and it contains you know my solid waste as well fault, 
So I hope you guys liked this video and that it kind of explained like how I do my routine cleaning for my tiny home. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Don't find yourself in me.